Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install rock guards from ACS Composite on my wife's 2016 Stingray. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different. I try to mix things up a little bit. Um, in some of my earlier videos you had seen that I had done the XL mud flaps or mud guards uh, on the front and the rear of my Stingray and then later on after I did did some other changes to the car, I decided to go with the enhanced version for the front. So I, I'm doing that again on my wife's car because we're wanting to have it flow with the, uh, with the arrow that's on the car. And um, with the XLs in the front, they are a lot more aggressive and they do actually a lot better job as far as stopping the rocks from getting up onto onto that fender. Um, but I'm going after a look rather than total functionality. So I'm getting some, obviously you can see here on her car now, there's nothing. It's the factory ones right here. There's no protection at all. So with the enhanced ones, you're going to get, a, you know, about an inch or so, a little bit to protect the fender. Um, and then in the, but it will flow with the tire, it'll flow with the arrow and that's just a look that I'm after. Now, I chose to go with the XL mud flap in the rear because it flows better. It actually meets up perfectly with the rear tire so it doesn't look like the tire is inboard and that you need a spacer or anything like that. It just flows really well with the car. So I chose to mix it up a little bit. So uh, in this video, you're gonna be able to see the XL mud flaps, which is their newer product, which is that we're gonna put in the rear and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll put the enhanced ones on the front. Now in the other video I did on my car, I think we did those on the lift and so um, I chose to want to do this one here on the ground so that way you can see that it's not that much harder to do them on the ground that you can do that in your own garage so you don't need to take it in and have somebody uh, charge you an arm and a leg to put them on. They're very simple to do. Uh, the fronts on the the enhanced are a little more entailed. It just means taking a few more screws out uh, that's hidden there, and I'll show you that in the video. Um, but uh, other than that, it's just a couple more screws, so it's very, very simple. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into the video, and uh, this will be should be a very short one. Just want to show you how it's done, and that way um, you know you're not afraid to jump out there and get a set for yourself. Okay. All right, we're going to jump into the video now. So in good ACS fashion, they always wrap the package up really, really well. And um, you can see here when I open the box, the, uh, the guard is covered in their, this nice uh, fabric that keeps them from getting scratched. And they, um, you know, it's real easy to get out here. You can see that you know I've chosen to go with the, uh, the carbon flash version. You can get these. Um, in the um, in the just plain black or primer. Um, so anyway, I've just decided to go this way. Uh, it's already done for me. It matches with the car. Everything's great. So um, the only tool that you're going to need with this is a seven millimeter. Uh, it's a seven millimeter uh, socket, um, and it goes here on the bottom, and it just unlocks the. Uh, there's a you'll be able to feel it right underneath here. Let me get this box out of the way so you might be able to see that a little bit. Right underneath here, uh, my hand is right on it. It's literally right below here. You'll see it. It's a 7 millimeter socket, or a bolt, I should say, or nut. And you're just going to, just going to undo that. like so. Now, once we get that screw out here, it's a little long-winded, but we'll get it out. And this will just come loose. Once you've got that done, you're just going to literally just pull, pull it out a little bit away from the car, and this will just pop right out. It's 
like so. So that snaps. Okay. Now, the difference between the enhanced version and the uh, the Excel mud flap is that the mud the Excel mud flap actually goes in and mounts exactly the way these do with these retaining clips. So I just pulled this out. You, if you had the Excel one, you would literally just put this the new one back in place. It would snap right back in. Use the same mounting screw. It, very very simple. Okay, uh, probably the easiest install you'll you'll ever do. So I'm going to show you how the enhanced version works, and it is going to be like the second hardest thing you're ever going to do on the car. Um, literally, you can see here that there's three screws, right, as well as you're mounting your anchor screw down here. So all you're going to be doing here is that there is a there's a 50, T15 Torx that is here and let's see right there and right up here and you're just going to take those loose and those will end up going right through those screws after we, we put it in place. We'll tighten those down, we use the 7 millimeter screw at the bottom and you're done. Okay so now that we've got the the original mud flap off now it reveals the 315 uh, T15 Torx that we need to remove. So we're going to pull those off Hopefully you guys can, can see, see this here. Again guys, this is, this is like I said, the, probably the second easiest install you're ever going to do besides the, the rear ones that we're going to do, which are the XL, which they just use the little snaps, but it's a very simple installation. If you can keep the keep your tool on the screw, I guess that helps a little bit. Okay, so now that we got the screws out, what we're going to do here is you notice that there's there's actually four tabs here, right? You got three of them that actually have uh, screw holes. What we're going to do is we're going to actually tuck those back behind, like that. Okay, so we're going to tuck these back behind, and the one that doesn't have anything uh, doesn't have a screw hole, we're actually going to leave that one. Let's see if we can get this like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. What this does, this allows this to be pinched up nice and tight here. Okay, so when you put the new the new guard in, it still locks this inner fender well in place. So now at this point, um, you can go ahead and like I'm gonna wipe this off. You don't have to do this, but gives you a good opportunity to wipe it down. Just like that. Get it ready to go. Okay. Then at that point, all we're going to be doing is you can see right here, there's this little tab here. This tab is going to go right into this spot right there. You can see right there. So we're just going to slide that little guy into that. Like so. And this is just going to sit up there like that, and you're going to reuse those same screws right there, like so. And as you tighten them down, you'll just adjust this to the outer edge of the fender so where the carbon flash part of the paint is exposed. So once you get those hands started, and you can use your your tool here to be able to get it and tighten them back down. And I've just made sure that it's nice that you'll feel the seam along the back the back edge of it where it fits right into the fender. So yeah, it'll just 
you'll just be able to adjust this right to the edge of the fender like that. You know where it's at. It looks like everything's good and then you can go ahead and tighten it up. And then we have one last screw here, which is the seven millimeter screw. That'll go right up into the bottom here, into the tab that's down below. Just gonna put that back into the bottom of the body here. Okay. Tighten this little guy up. What I tell you, and I like this most simple. We're done. So this is like the simplest thing, or the second simplest thing you've ever done. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over back to the back one, and we're going to do the simplest thing that we've ever done. I would like to thank Jonathan over at ACS for sponsoring this episode of the Corvette Channel. So now that we're at the back of the car, and again we're going to be doing the the uh, XL rear mud flap. So these are a little bit, uh, you see it again, in, in, uh, that they've got them all nicely wrapped up. We're gonna pull this out here. Now, uh, you can see that they just use the snaps like I was talking about. So all we're gonna be doing, it also has the anchor, anchor screw here. So all we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna take the seven millimeter uh, screw out of the bottom here. We'll pull this one off and then we'll be able to snap this one back in place and we'll just put the seven millimeter screw back in. We're good to go. So I'm just gonna reach underneath here. Now there is three screws underneath here. They're all seven millimeter and there's two that are in line with the outer edge of the car. Those are what keeps uh, the valance and everything hooked onto the bumper. There's also a third screw that's kind of inboard toward the center of the car. That's the one you're going to want to pull loose. That's the one that's that's holding the mud flap in place. So once you've got that one out, you're just going to reach underneath there like so. You're going to just pop it loose. Okay, just like that. So we get that one out of the way. Again, I'm just going to take a little bit of wet rag here. I'm just going to wipe this off. Okay. Now we don't have to take anything loose, no screws or anything like that. Now what you want to do though is this tab, you want to make sure there it goes into the slot there, okay, and it gets sandwiched between the bumper and the inner, the inner bumper. So you want to make sure that it goes in there so it can get sandwiched in. Once you push that in there like so, you're literally just going to snap these little guys in place. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then you're gonna put the seven millimeter screw back in. and you're good to go. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative, and so when it comes time to put your rock guards on your C7 Corvette, you'll have no problems doing it. I wanna ask you guys to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads. And tell your friends, I appreciate it. Our channel is growing all the time. We just went over the one year mark, our first year anniversary, and we're over 3,000 members and almost, well, almost 3,100 subscribers at this point and we're growing every day. And I just wanna thank all of you for that. 
It's great, I love it, and I am so excited to be able to tell you guys that we have beat the 3,000 mark in one year. Everybody I talk to, others, other YouTubers that are out there, they're telling me, man, you are just really doing a good job. And I'm not trying to ring my own bell, I am just appreciate all of you guys that are watching the channel. It's really awesome. I'm so happy that you guys do. So guys, anyway, enough of that. Just want to tell you, thank you for watching. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.